Malka from Malka's Pennsylvania Cooking. Um, today I'm going to share with you the footage from when I cooked on uh, PA Live last week, last Monday. Um, I don't have quite all of it, but I do have um, a couple snips of the main portions for you that they said I could use. So I'll give you a show of that here if you didn't get to watch it. So some interesting things about this, and it's kind of a a thought for other YouTube channel people out there. Um, you know, one of the first things I asked Brian Schofield, the one host, the anchor of the show, is, you know, how did you find out about me? Because he sent me the invitation the end of June, and uh, I was floored. I'm like, where'd this come from? <laughs> um, so it was one of the first things I asked. I asked him, and my, his response really floored me. Uh, he came to the station about eight months ago from uh, Las Vegas. When he knew that he was coming to Northeast PA to do this show, he started looking before he ever came from Vegas, back when he was still out there, he started looking at people to bring a feature on the show because it's featuring all local stuff. Um, <clears throat> local farms, chefs, restaurants, uh, groups, organizations. It's all, you know, focusing on Pennsylvania people. So he started doing a search on cooking in Pennsylvania, cooking and cooks, and uh, I showed up near the top of the list. And it was funny because the first video he watched was actually the video that is the most popular on my channel, which I never would have dreamed of, which is cabbage steaks. And he, I laughed because he told me, he said, I watched that video and he said, I don't even really like cabbage, but after I watched your video, I was even willing to try that. <laughs> so, but he, he thought, he told me, he said there were a couple of things that led to, he says it really wasn't much of anyone else doing exactly what I do, um, that I because I source local, he really liked that I source local and really promote Pennsylvania products, uh, which you all know I'm a big big nut about. And he also said I could actually cook, <laughs> which apparently is very helpful. And uh, he also liked my on my on air presence or personality, which he might have been sorry for later. <laughs> I'm not sure. But anyway, so, you know, this is kind of a wake-up call. There, there was this person scoping me out a year ago, and I had no idea for this opportunity. Uh, I'm very thankful to him for the opportunity. I really am. It's a chance. It was a chance to do something I never dreamed I'd be doing. And I'm not going to lie to you, doing live TV uh, really, really... Um, I was really worried about the logistics. I really wasn't worried about being on air. I was worried about the logistics to make sure that the food was right for where it had to be for when they needed it to be filmed and, and they had the camera on it. So to do the show, they wanted two dishes. Um, they want you to bring a set that is complete so that it can be there on display. And then you take everything to do um, a second set during the show. So the part, the thing about that is, is they had the ovens and the stove and sink and refrigerator, but, and a microwave, but nothing else. You'd have to take all your stuff. So um, that was the part for me that I was worried about, that I didn't forget something, that I had everything that I needed. So I was, I had shopped, I shopped the day before, had my lists, I had like three lists going, uh, shopped the day before, then... The morning of, um, I started cooking like at 7.30 and got done probably around 11.30 to 12. And we left at 1. And I had everything. I had uh, the uh, pierogi casserole prep in one box. I had the cheesy stuffed mushrooms prep in another box. And I had uh, the finished products in another box. And But... I had it organized and stuff, and I'm really thankful I had my list and had it organized because it, I needed it. And then when I got there, I was put at ease a lot more because they were able to give me the sheet that showed the times of when they were going to be doing 
cutaways to where they would see me and when they would actually be doing the actual segments for the most part. Um, that That's a guideline. It's not an exact, but it was a guideline. And that was good enough for me to have what I needed where I needed it to be when they wanted it. So, um, yeah, it was a, it was a great opportunity. Um, it was pretty it was pretty fun. It was really cool too because the set is only I mean everything is there. The kitchen's on one end and on the other side is uh, you know like the the couch the interview couch and chairs and stuff. So while I'm cooking while I was cooking there doing my thing, they're filming the rest they're airing the rest of the show with the interviews and other guests and stuff on. So it was really cool because I got to be there for the whole show and as well as being a part of the show. Um, so it was a great opportunity. It was, it was pretty fun. We had, we had a good time. It was a um, good time busting each other too. Um, but they were really great. And uh, uh, Brian and Christina Shalhoub and I had a lot of fun. Uh, I was thrilled to get to meet Christina. I've actually been a fan of hers. Mike and I both are. Uh, she came to the area about a year and a half ago uh, from Boston, but she's been all over and she's just a really down to earth, genuine, really genuine person. And we've always really liked her so much. So we both got a kick out of meeting her, especially Mike. <laughs> um, Brian is very professional. He really brings, he brings some uh, spice and flavor to the area uh, with his background too. So it was really, it was really a cool experience. And I was very thankful for the opportunity. So that's kind of a little background on what I needed to do and um, I had, I was so nervous. <laughs> I really was nervous because like I said, I was not worried about being on camera, but I was worried about the logistics of it all going right. And, uh, and you didn't see it in this one part, but I'm including the picture of it where they actually did do the taste test. Um, they ran out of time to do the full taste test. So um, I'm including a picture when we were doing the, the mushrooms and stuff. And I left one set there and then I brought the other set home. And the set that I left there, I was, I was packing stuff up um, to leave. And everybody from out in the studio started coming in to fill up their plates of pierogi casserole and stuffed mushrooms. Uh, the bacon smell went through the studio, I guess. <laughs> you always make friends with bacon. So anyhow. It was a lot of fun. Um, I'll show you the footage here and a couple of the pictures that that uh, they took. And uh, yeah, that was my one shot experience of cooking on live TV. Remember, you know, anybody can be watching. You never know what opportunities might be out there, you know, waiting for you. So I do this just for fun. I never want, you know, planned on being any big schmoozel, schmazel, anything else. Um, but, you know, it was a great opportunity and I'm glad I got the chance to do it. So, you know, just be cognizant of that, you know, be cognizant of that, that you might have those opportunities out there. They might be in the wind and you don't even know anything about them yet. I mean, that, that was almost a year. So, um, you know, God works in mysterious ways. You never know what he's got planned. So, uh, here's the footage. Have a laugh. Her Northeast Pennsylvania fusion of flavors with Dutch and coal region cooking and even some Dutch oven cast iron cooking too, along with some game cooking. Well, she captivated viewers from all across the U.S. I'm talking about Helga's Pennsylvania cooking. Helga Lemkonski is here. How do I do on that one? Not bad. No, no, I'll take good, it out back. Good enough. Good enough is good. <laughs> and my story earlier was true. Saw you online and said someday we'll get this girl on. And bam, look at that. I am true to my word. How are you? Great, how are you? Good, good. What are you making? She's already been making stuff. Yep. Um, so, today we're doing a couple dishes. I am doing my cheesy stuffed mushrooms. If you didn't already know, Pennsylvania is one of the largest producers of mushrooms for the entire nation. Did not know. And they, they come from Southern PA. These are actually uh, sourced and done by Blandon. The local Green Giant brand is local Pennsylvania mushrooms. And if you want to keep the mushrooms true, even if they're canned, Giorgio's are also local. You really do source local. I do. I believe in supporting local business and agriculture. I grew up on a PA dairy farm, so I'm all about it. All right. The other part is my 
This is a controversial pitch. Oh, oh, uh, oh you're starting controversy already. Okay. Okay. It's a pierogi casserole. Uh -huh. Okay, and yes, I make regular pierogies, but this is what they call um, lazy pierogi, lazy pierogi, or pierogi. Polish lasagna. Uh -huh. But some of the Puritans get really upset. And not to worry, I also make pierogies too. But this is really great, a lot easier, and wonderful to make. Them. I see. Uh, we'll take it. Don't worry. Well, I'll move back and get your back on this one. So I have some plates, okay? And you, you're uh, doing some onions right there. Yep, doing, some, there. Yep, doing some onions and bacon that'll go in the layers with the mashed potatoes, okay. with cream cheese, and cheddar cheese, and parsley, and lasagna noodles. Mm -hmm. So that's, 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 together. that's what puts that together. Okay. Then the mushrooms, you have uh, five cheese Italian, cream cheese, uh, Italian seasoning, and did you know we have seasoning company? Right here locally, there's one right by me in Pakistan called, called Spices Inc. Tell me more. And they're fabulous. <laughs> so check out Spices Inc. The bacon actually comes from Mossers uh -huh. in Pakistan's VA. So, uh, I'm going to say what bacon because we're going to gobble it all up and there won't be any like What oh, bacon no. are you talking about? You can only have one piece of sacrificial bacon. Uh, okay, very good. And she's just like this in her YouTube videos. Oh, the beautiful bacon footage. Catch her online and some of those amazing stuff that you put together <laughs> online. It, it is phenomenal. So not everyone needs to work out of a restaurant, but be here. We, we welcome all kinds. I appreciate it. Good, Thank no you worries, much. no worries. Okay, so are we putting anything together this segment, or are you going to wait till Christina's segment and give her all the pleasure? I'll let her have all the pleasure. Maybe she'll get the bacon. Yeah, yeah. she wants the bacon. She's all Stay about the bacon. Stay out of this one. I told you. No, you did <laughs> already? Okay, how'd that happen? Okay. But, but you get the final mushroom. Okay, well, let's put something together. Let's, okay. let's give the yep. audience a little yeah. something. Okay. Could we? So, so what we're going to do is to put the bases together, put the pierogi together, and then we're going to do the mushrooms and take. Uh, six cups, I divide it in half, so three cups with the cream it's cheese. Your own mash, your yep. Own okay. Oh, yeah, yep. And we're going to spread that on the bottom evenly. Should we go as far as saying locally sourced potatoes? Yeah, actually, they are. They're actually from my local Mennonite market. Okay, very nice. Okay, so we're going to put that together. Yeah, so we're going to put that together. Okay, 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 so we're going to put that Cheese, of course. How did you get that whipped so nicely? A little bit of warming up. 
just all you gotta okay. do is warm it up yep, just a little bit good yep. i think i can handle and that, that maybe yep. and that makes it easy <laughs> to fold in our, oh, man. our five cheese Italian blend. Oh my goodness. And some Italian seasoning. Look how pretty that looks. A mesh of all of yep. the cheeses, and the then seasoning. We'll, you just mix it all together? Just mix it all together and then we stuff them. Oh, okay. I'm excited. And also... Anybody can do it. I, I, well, I was going to say, it's nice because like, I, it just seems like it's easy enough that even the worst possible cook could probably figure it out in theory, that was part of the whole reason for the channel was to keep real cooking approachable because and kind of like a video cookbook for my nieces and nephews who are coming up and the church local church supper recipes wow. and uh, game cooking. Which hey, it's northeast of Pennsylvania. Yeah, come on, we all hunt. And not for nothing, so, you said game, and I immediately thought of football season. Football oh yeah. snacks. Folks. These are great for that. Oh my Absolutely. gosh. Absolutely. That was the other thing, you know, I, I talk about logistics. Um, I've done I've done some bigger stuff. I've catered myself uh, privately, uh, parties of up to 60 people. I just did uh, my niece's bridal shower brunch here uh, the weekend before for 40 people. Um, and that was a Cinnabon French toast bake. Um, poppy seed blueberry muffins with a lemon glaze. Uh, French macarons. Uh, a fruit tray with the fruit drip. Fruit. Fruit dip. Um, veggie pizza. Oh, and a spinach, cheese, tomato, bacon quiche. Oh, did that come out good. Ooh, that was really good. Um, and we had a coffee bar and stuff. So that came out really well. And I had to take I had to take that away, but it, the stuff was prepared and I took it away and then re, you know, reassembled on location. And I've done parties here, like I said, for up to 60 or so. Um, so but it's always different when you have to take everything you need, um, utensils, pans, whatever with you and so you don't forget anything because it really stinks when you're somewhere and you have a certain thing you need and you don't have it and you don't have time to go get it either or a way to go get it so that's why i said you know the logistics had me a little bit concerned i've done i've done other stuff but not quite like this like subscribe and join me next time here in helgas pennsylvania cooking